<laughs> now we are below to the X, and look, there's another fire extinguisher. This person is very safety conscious. Yes, she is. You see a fire extinguisher and realize how important they are about a ship where fire is dead, since there is no escaping. And. <clears throat> You see a brand new full featured electronic chart display that has the option to display a PC compatible memory cards or nautical chart cards. Oh, I was hoping it was a TV. Yeah, I thought it was a TV too. Either that or a microwave. Hmm. Okay. You see the refrigerator with food in food in it. Even though it is closed, you can see the food in it. Yeah. It always seems to stay well stocked no matter how much you eat or drink. It's a magical fridge. Yeah, that's kind of bizarre. <laughs> Ooh. Oh, let's make sure to step close enough to it first. You open the refrigerator and munch on some leftovers. You get a drink and feel much better. Well, it's not a very good magical fridge, is so if only the food it stocks is leftovers. Yeah. Okay, and what's on the table here? like a can of soda. <coughs> no. You see yourself. You see yourself on the table. <sighs> okay. You see an unopened South American cola can. Your stomach does a little South American dance as you remember the last time you sailed down here and spent the majority of the vacation sitting in the head. You hope it will not happen again. Let's pick it up anyway! You check the label... Oh, come on! Yeah, you check the label on the can of South American Cola and decide that you really are not thirsty right now. Because you had a drink from the fridge. You messed it up. Yeah... Let's try using this fire extinguisher too. Oh my god! <laughs> wow! You grab your ABC fire extinguisher and whirl around to put out the fire and are again disappointed to find none and put the fire extinguisher back. Oh, I love how it already assumes that we tried it before. Yeah, and I I guess we are playing a little pyromaniac here because she is dis disappointed there is no fire. Oh, right. Didn't even catch mm. that. You see the sink where you clean your dishes. You take pride in keeping your boat neat and orderly. You know where, know where everything is and keep everything well organized. Good for you. You check the faucets in on the sink to be sure they were not left on. Okay, and what's this above the sink? Okay, I, I it's guess... It's a sink! Yeah, I guess it's... Uh, this cabinet or something. Oh, uh, maybe. I thought it was a window, but that wouldn't have... That, that didn't look right. Yeah. yeah. Okay, what's this? You see the instrument panel that tells you navigational information. <coughs> Ooh. Actually, we didn't use this chart display thing. Oh, yeah. Hmm. Ooh. Oh, turn off... Turn on oh, the power yeah, first. Right. Okay, Caribbean Sea, Pure Heart Bay, and there's a current location. Okay. And this, okay, different levels of. Wow, this is a weird interface. Ooh, it's South America! Then it just cycles back to this display. Mm. Oh. <laughs> That's bizarre. Mm, yeah. <clears throat> well, that was somewhat pointless. Well, we know where we are, I guess. Well, that's good thing to know in life. Yeah. Oh, it's a phone! Oh god, I don't even want it. Ugh. <clears throat> okay. 
This is the South American Weather Channel reporting heavy sea. Ah, oh, sorry. This is the South American Weather Channel reporting heavy seas and severe thunderstorms in the Caribbean Sea for the next week. Waves will be up to 10 feet with heavy chop. Small craft should avoid these areas and stay in protected bays or harbors. <laughs> have a fun vacation. I have no idea if that was an appropriate accent. I don't know. Okay. You sounded very cheerful about it. This is WKL for your mercenary radio station reporting on the world's hotspots where fortunes can be made in minutes for the lucky. Presently, the African countries are still not able to match the pay scale of the CIA or the drug lords. Wow. Um, cool. <clears throat> this is your new direction radio station with only the best in head bashing, body crashing, drug overdosing music you found anywhere. Yeah! <laughs> That's cool. <laughs> Este la programa de los sudamericanos con la música de la Hacienda Magnífica. I'm too sexy. I'm too sexy. I'm a loser, baby. Ah. This is your country music channel giving you 24 hours a day of the best in country music. Our next smashes is by Ernie and the Beer Bellies. It is number Ugh. 4 on the country charts. It is simply called St. Paul. Yeah, turn it off. Turn it off. We don't need country music. <laughs> oh no, it goes on. Oh no! I ran over my dog named Ralph. I wrecked my car, my wife moved out and took the TV. My truck was stolen and my home burned down. I spent six weeks in St. Paul with a bottle of books. Oh, I'm blue and I miss my dog too. Oh, God. <laughs> okay, I admit I kind of like that. Okay. We use the phone. What? 911 doesn't no. work. Uh. Well, you are in the middle of the Caribbean, so. Okay, what about these top buttons? Are they numbers on memory? Oh god. Oh, I guess they are. Whoa! This is Mama Lone Eagle. I'm not home right now. Please leave a message after the beep. It, oh wait, this is the main character, isn't it? Whoops. If that is, if that is you, Lone Eagle. I hope you had a chance to wash your underwear before going off down there. Watch out for the water. Get to bed early and... That's creepy. I think this is actually the main character's mother. Yeah. <clears throat> and yeah. So I guess we know why the game is called Lone Eagle since we are playing the eagle who is alone because the other eagle is gone missing. Yeah. Were we number one or number two? I can't even remember. Me neither. <coughs> okay, let's try the other numbers. <coughs> ah, I guess... Well, that did nothing. Yeah. I guess that was the... That was the busy tone, I guess. This is the psychic hotline. Are you tired of so-called psychics? We are the real thing, not fakes. To prove it, we predict that you are now driving in your car and using your car phone to call us. Wrong. Excellent. Oh, okay, so um, that was the third one, I think. <laughs> Why would she have a psychic hotline on speed dial in the first place? I have place? no idea. I was wondering that too. Hola, hola. Quién es? Hola, hola. Quién es este? Um, I. Now, 
pendejo. Click. I was hard trying to think of a Spanish curse word I know, but... Mm. Uh, I learned pendejo from Grand Theft Auto San Andreas. Huh. I... Hmm. I think it means dickhead or something like that. Oh, nice. This is the President of the United States. I am not in right now. If you have press information, I will be back in my office in a few hours. If you have a matter of national importance, Hillary will be back in the office around noon time. Thanks. Oh, so this was around when Bill Clinton was president, huh? Yeah, 94. This is interesting, because, you know, you know, my first thought was, oh, Secretary of State, but... Huh. Yeah, I mean, I think Bush Sr. was uh, president uh, from 88 to 92, or something. Something like that. <clears throat> anyway. So we have the president on speed dial. Yeah! Cool, huh? Yeah, the, the president and a psychic. Yeah, and some Spanish guy. Oh yeah. yeah, God, we're weird. Yeah, what's this? Okay, I guess these things on the bottom are some point of displays and not buttons. Yeah. Okay, what's this? What do these other buttons do? They um, don't seem to do anything. Yeah. So, what's the point? There is no point. This is a deeply nihilistic existential game. I see. Well, we've progressed so far. Yeah, but we are not exploring. Done, done exploring. Let's see. That's true. You see a stack of books that you had collected for the Peruvian vacation you were going on next month. They have no use at all in this area. So why did she take them? I guess she just had them already stacked in the boat and... I guess so. Okay, can we do anything? You will run your hand along the stack of books and realize books on sailing the Peruvian coastline are of no use in this area. These were purcha purchased another typo <coughs> for a vacation that you never were able to take. Well, maybe another time you will still be able to go. But in the meantime, feel free to run your hands over the books. Mm. Get a good feeling. Mm. Okay. And what's down here? No, I... Huh. Fine. You don't want to tell us. It's top secret. <clears throat> okay, but I know what this is. You see your computer that controls the good ship integrity. You still enjoy programming and playing some adventure games. The computer is bolted down to the desk to protect it in rough seas. Hey, that's actually pretty... Yeah, that's smart. Yeah. Okay, let's try using it. You type in the commands that will display the new files that you might have received since the last time you checked. Well, why did the screen have to fade out for that? Yeah, I was wondering that myself. Oh! Oh, God! <laughs> okay, you voice this. Love, Eagle. This is Marsha. We miss you around here and hope that all is well. We are all worried about you. We see that you have been forced to take refuge in a very dangerous area. Oh, scary. Mm -hmm. This is the area's entire coast. You can probably fish and earn enough money to buy whatever you may need down there. Okay, you were uh, breaking up a bit at the beginning of that line, but you're back now. Uh-oh. Oh. We are sent to a detailed local map of the area that may be of some use to you. It was drawn from satellite photographs. 
We have spotted three coves that might prove to be of interest. Hmm. Maybe it's the music here interfering. Hmm. Oh, these cups appear to be loaded with oysters, conges, and small fish. There also appears to be abundant big game fish in the deeper waters. We have reports of sailfish, grouper, and sharks. I would recommend that you look around, but be careful! There is a small village on the peninsula. It is shown on the map as small dots on the land. The buoys are marked in the map, small dots in the water. Okay. The satellite photographs show the storm at sea. Show the storm at sea appears too dangerous to sail, sail into. It is very large. You are apparently going to be stuck there for some time. Well, let's hope our friend is actually in this area somewhere and not in another section of the coast. We will probably lose all communications as the storm moves between you and us. You can have fun there and may catch enough fish to sail at the village to sell some at the village. Oh, those are oddly specific instructions. Yeah. I like the mis mixed message. Oh. Well, that's the good news. I'm sure you'll enjoy yourself immensely. I wish I were there. Now the boss wants to talk. We all wish you the best. Here he is. Yay, another scary portrait coming up. I know, I'm afraid. <laughs> Well, my friend, I hope this message finds you doing well. Sales of your last project have gone off the charts. It has turned out to be a national bestseller. You earned this vacation and a bonus to boot. Cool. I wiggle my eyebrows as I speak for no apparent reason. Very straight eyebrows. I need to warn you about the area you are in now. There are some really nasty pirates somewhere around there. I've done some research and have found out that at least 47 American vessels have been reported missing in that bay. Oh wow. That's a lot. These guys take no prisoners and there are no living survivors. No one has been found who can give a detailed description of them. Yeah, have fun. Their base is somewhere in the Bay Area. The local Federales are not going to try to stop them. Why not? The Federales do not feel that it is good for their health to take on pirates oh with greater firepower than they have. Oh crap, then call in the military or something. I wish that I could give you more information, but there is not mu much more available. I guess that you will have to find out for yourself. Yeah, okay, thanks, bye. <laughs> we hope you find good winds and fair sailing, but keep your nose to the wind and avoid the pirates. Gee, do you think we might need to deal with the pirates during the course of this game? Nah. Yeah. Okay, can we stop looking at your scary face now? Okay, best of luck and hope to see you soon. <laughs> I do not share your hopes, sir. <laughs> Me neither. And he actually okay, has, a, has a really, fun, really wide top of the head. Yeah. Bye. Nice of you to leave. Okay, I think this is enough for this video. So. Yeah, I think we've been traumatized enough. Yeah. <clears throat> oh, uh, there. Okay. Okay, so next time we will actually try uh, sailing to another screen, perhaps. That sounds like a good idea. Yeah. Bye for now. Bye.